and welcome back to another episode of Ebony in the Kitchen where I'm Ebony and I'm in my kitchen. This week, as you can see in front of me, I have a lot of chocolate varieties and we are going to be doing a Cadbury taste test. That's right, you heard it, a Cadbury taste test. We have about 23 different chocolate bars to taste today. There are apparently 37 different chocolate bars that Cadbury has. I think they mean whole chocolate bars like this, but we have got different flavors. Anything that I saw in the shopping center, I just put into my trolley. The flavors that we have today are Black Forest, Top Deck, Snack, Neapolitan, Caramello, Marble, Peppermint, Caramel, Milk Chocolate, Dream, Hazelnut, Marvelous Creations, Flake, Flake Caramel, Picnic, Twelve, Twelve Breakaway, Twelve Mint, Caramel, Twelve, Cherry Riot, Turkish Delight, Crunchy, and Boots. But before we get into it, like and subscribe down <coughs> I have a frog in my croak. I have a frog in my croak. <laughs> I have a frog in my throat. But before we get into it, like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite Cadbury chocolate bar is or any other recipe tasting videos you would like to see. Let's get tasting. Okay, this is the fact about me. I'm not really a chocolate person. I know, <gasps> shock horror. I was that kid at Easter who would still have their chocolate until Christmas and be selling them on the black market to other kids at school because I just didn't eat my chocolate in time. So we'll see how we go today. I might get really sick, but there is a lot of chocolate. Text me on 0434, no, I'm just kidding. If you want some chocolate, because I have so much. I feel like that kid from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory who's like got all of his chocolate bars and is like, here I have the classic dairy milk chocolate bar. It's a classic, everyone loves it. I feel like this is probably what I'd pick if I if I had a whole bowl. Here we go. Here's my chocolate dance. I love this chocolate, it's so good. On my imaginary scale of chocolate, the classic milk chocolate has to go somewhere towards the top because it's so good, like if you don't feel like something super sweet or out there, you'd go for this chocolate. On a scale of one to 100, I'm gonna pop the milk chocolate bar at about 80. Next, we have Neapolitan, like the ice cream. I've had ones like Top Deck, we have that too here, but this has got strawberry in it. I don't know, I hate that, the artificial strawberry flavor. I'm not very fond of it. It looks so fun, the layers are really cool, and it smells just like that fake strawberry. Let's go. To be fair, that's fun. It tastes like I've just had a scoop of ice cream smushed into a chocolate bar. But because I really hate artificial strawberry flavor, it's gonna lose some points. Yeah, that strawberry flavor is horrendous. I'm gonna make this like 40. Next, we have one of my childhood favorites, Caramello. The koalas were my favorite, because they had that koala shape, and then you just eat the head off and it'd be like all this caramello blood. Mm, alrighty. They do caramel so freaking good, says. Milk chocolate with a caramel flowy center. That's exactly what this is. In my opinion, having a caramel center is far superior than just a block of plain milk chocolate. So I'm gonna put this at 90. Mm, that deserves that one. I'm really struggling to swallow. I've only had like three bites of chocolate. This is why I don't like chocolate. Makes your mouth so dry. <laughs> oh my God. Makes your mouth so dry. Next, we have marble. I think this came out just this year. So it's pretty new. I think I really like this if I can remember correctly. It has this beautiful white chocolate marble and I think it's a hazelnut center, hazelnut praline center. All right, so you just get the milk chocolate flavor mainly with a little bit of a hazelnut flavor at the end. I don't know, it's all right, it wouldn't be my first pick. It's a little bit more sweeter because there's white chocolate through it. I think this is about a 70 out of 100. Next. We have peppermint. So it's milk chocolate with a flowy peppermint center. When I was a child, I was obsessed with mint. Chocomint ice cream, my favorite. A lot of people think that eating peppermint with chocolate or ice cream is like having toothpaste and it makes no sense, but I don't know. Wow, mm. I love peppermint. Reminds me of those like chewy, minty candies that my like my grandparents would have like a big jar of them and we'd have those minties and chew on them for hours. It's like having that in the middle of milk chocolate. It is very green. It is like the Hulk and Grinch made chocolate and this is what it would be. For me, because I wouldn't eat a whole bar, it's very mint forward. I'd have a couple of pieces, so maybe 82. This is my 
favorite. I think it's everyone's favorite. If you look at TikTok, caramel, 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 caramel. It is everywhere. So this is caramelized chocolate. I think it's just white chocolate that's been caramelized. Just like perfect golden color. I would happily eat a whole bar of this, not gonna lie. Mmm. It's so creamy. So dreamy. I am a white chocolate girl. So having like caramel plus white chocolate. Mmm. Mr. Caramel has a really big place in my heart. So it's gonna have to beat Caramello. This is like a solid 98. This is a lot of chocolate. Now we have the hazelnut dairy milk chocolate bar. This has apparently got hazelnut pieces in it. Mmm, that's fun. All the other chocolate bars, don't really have much texture. They're all like soft and creamy and gooey. This has crunchy roasted hazelnuts in it and it's delicious. It tastes like Ferrero Rocher, like the outside layer. I said I was only gonna eat half pieces, but that all went in, so. It's so crunchy. There's a lot of chocolate going on. It's above the normal plain milk chocolate bar, but I still don't think it beats Caramello. Maybe like 87. Now we have the white chocolate dream bar. Smooth and creamy white chocolate. As I said before, I'm a white chocolate kind of gal. Me, anything like white and cream, like if I had a whole tub of whipped cream, I could easily polish it off. It just looks so delicious and inviting. I definitely, it's a good change to break up the milk chocolate. This isn't, do I not like it anymore? It's like, it just tastes like sugar. I usually love white chocolate. What the heck? Maybe caramel's just like come and taken over the world. It's sickening. Maybe I'm already getting sick from the chocolate, but I don't like it. I still hate the strawberry more though. So this can, this can be like a 45. It's definitely down in the low range. Not vibing that today. This one here. Their Marvelous Creations Jelly Popping Candy Beanie. <gasps> That's like magical. That's something out of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for shit. Actually, fun fact, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Roll Dahl based that on Capri. Whoa. There is so much fun in candy, it's like exploding. It's so much fun. The only thing is though, my favorite part of this bar is the little jelly bob blobs things. They are my favorite and they're so chewy and delicious. That piece I just had didn't have a single piece of jelly. That's what I don't like about that. You have to be searching through the bar. Oh my gosh, my mouth is still popping. So I think this is below caramel. This was like the last fun thing that they made other than caramel. It has to be above the hazelnut for sure because it's got so many different flavors and it's really fun. So I'm gonna put it about 89, just below Caramello. We are moving on to the flake bar. The fun fact about the flake, it was made by accident. So they were like drying off chocolate and then it like formed in ribbons and then they just went with it. This is gonna go everywhere, but I love it. If it wasn't so difficult to eat, it might be one of my favorite. Mm. It does say to be fair, the crumbliest Cadbury dairy milk chocolate. It's so yummy, but like chocolate goes everywhere. Personally, I like it more than the normal dairy milk chocolate bar because it is like so thin and crumbly and it's not like a big thick mouth full of just chocolate, but it's still plain. So I'm gonna put it in between the hazelnut and the normal milk chocolate. Something that I will always take to the movies at the moment is this flake caramel bar. So it's flake, but caramel. One of the crumbliest creamy tastes of caramelized white chocolate. See, caramelized white chocolate, I was right. It's actually holding its shape a bit better than the milk chocolate. I just love how fun all the little twirls are. And like when you bite it, it just crumbles into your mouth. Oh my gosh, this one. It's like caramel on steroids. For some reason, it's like so much better. I don't know, does it beat caramel? Caramel's at a strong 98, so I think this has got to be like a 97 because this obviously has less chocolate in it and I love caramel and you want the most amount of chocolate in it as you can get. So I'm gonna put it just below the caramel bar at like a 97. Whew. Taking it back now with our good old picnics. I don't know a single person who would just go to the shopping center and pick off a picnic bar, unless you're crazy. I usually eat them only when they come in the big 
like favorites boxes, they are hefty. So I chuck that in a pool and people will want to think it's something else. A hunger busting mix of peanuts, wafer, caramel, rice crisps, rice crisps, rice crisps, coated in milk chocolate. That is a caramel. It's very nougaty. It's like a savory, sweet and salty thing that they've got going on. I don't mind it, to be fair, but I don't, I don't love it. That can stay on my annual Christmas party favorites box. It's good. It's a wrap. It's about a 50. Now we have the 12. So you have swirls and curls coated in milk chocolate. So it's milk chocolate, milk chocolate, milk chocolate. I still don't know how it differs from the flake other than it having a coating around it just to keep it all nice and like secure. It still looks like a flake just coated in milk chocolate to make it look nice and smooth. I just love the fact that it comes in two. And because the flake is so messy, I think the 12 is gonna beat the flake. The 12 is just superior to the flake. Now we have the 12 breakaway. I couldn't find a breakaway other than the full bar, but I found the 12 and it's a breakaway. I thought two in one, right? I actually haven't tried the breakaway. It's the very newest Cabri bar that we have in our shops here in Australia. Mmm, has so much texture. So it's just the 12 smushed together with wafers and coated in chocolate. It reminds me of something. Reminds me of a Kit Kat. Cabri are trying to do a Kit Kat and it's working. I think the hazelnut still beats the breakaway 12. So I'm gonna put this just behind the hazelnut. Moving on to the 12 breakaway mint. Mint as well as breakaway, as well as 12, as well as, well as milk chocolate. I thought it was fun because again, I love peppermint. That's fun. I don't know where they put the mint in because it doesn't look green like the other peppermint did. But it just tastes super minty and crispy and yummy. But again, I wouldn't eat a bunch of that just because it's that is very minty. Good old breakaway mint 12 will just beat peppermint because of the texture element, but it's not superior to the plain milk chocolate at an 80, so. You know what could be the mint 12 though? Caramel 12. Everything caramel at the moment is just hitting different. Just caramel, just give me caramel. It's by far not as sweet as like their white chocolate over there or plain milk chocolate. It's just like its own thing and it's delicious. I really, really like this. And it's spun in like the little sticks. It's gonna have to be the caramel because it's got milk chocolate in it as well. And it's not as like a, a massive block of chocolate in your mouth. It's got a little bit of texture because of the 12. So I'm gonna make this just in front. Caramel, I love how it's just all this caramel and then everything else. You can tell which one I like. Now we have the cherry ripe bar. This was my favorite when I was little as well. As I said, I didn't like all of the chocolate, but this one has a different flavor in the middle, so it was a bit interesting for me. Mm. Red interior. I think it's like cherry and coconut. It's just like a really well thought out dessert. And yeah, the chocolate's not too sweet, and then you have that coconut to chew on for a while. This is one of my all-time faves, but it still doesn't beat the caramel. It's definitely flanking the caramel selection. This though, this is fries Turkish Delight. So I think fries have their own Turkish Delight brand, and then Cabri have come up and smushed them together. I really hated Turkish Delight when I was a kid, but I've started, oh, especially when you freeze them and then they're like really chewy, I started really getting into them. It's like, it looks like a little jelly inside. It still doesn't taste as good as they make it look in Narnia when the kid gets the Turkish Delight off the, the witch, but it still tastes pretty good. I like how there's like, a, a, it's a different texture to anything else that's here. It can't be at the top. Kind of like, if it's there in the packet, I will eat it. Little Mr. Turkish Delight is unfortunately gonna be near the picnic bar. You can tell like these are all the weird ones that people wouldn't touch in the bottom of the packet. Now we have Squid Game Vibes, the crunchy. I have never been accustomed to, I don't know why, it just might be so crunchy and it gets stuck in your teeth. Look really nice on the inside. But you know how like marshmallows don't taste as good as they look? I feel like that's what the crunchy is. It's definitely crunchy. It understood the assignment in terms of the crunchiness. I don't think I like the flavor. It's gonna have to go in between the picnic and the white chocolate. The last thing we have of our little random selection bag is the boots. This one is smooth choc, biscuit center, caramel, and coated. I think this is one of the most underrated chocolate in the favorites box. It has that texture, it has that caramel, it has that, it just has that. It's also very smooth, it's very good looking, it's very put together. 
I can never figure it out because it just says it has a biscuit in the middle, but to me it feels like it has little balls of biscuit. The caramel is very taffy-like. It's getting very stuck in my teeth. But the flavors are really yummy. Texturally, I think it's got it. And the flavor. My heart tells me that it's just below the caramello and in between the marvelous creations. I don't know if I'm gonna eat dinner later. There's lots of chocolate going on. Definitely not eating this all by myself. Just, just, just so you know. Top deck. Top deck is so fun. Is good. I don't know why. The white chocolate flavor to me tastes so much more different to the dream. The dream is like crumbly and it has this like sugary bite to it. Where there is the top deck has this really lovely creamy white chocolate flavor like the caramel. I love top deck. That's just a fun name. It's so hard. I'm gonna put him in between peppermint and marble. This next one I haven't had in a really long time. It's one of my best friend's favorite chocolates. It's black forest. So black forest is the milk chocolate with cherry flavored jellies and biscuit pieces. So the cherry flavored jellies are what I was looking for in the Marvelous Creations. I think the name just isn't appealing to me, like Black Forest. Sounds like, like an old ladies chocolate. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. That's the jelly they put in Marvelous Creations. Anything cherry flavor, I love. This is a really good bar of chocolate for me. Jellies, oh, that's why. I love candy. I love chewy gummy things and sour worms are my favorite. Favorite thing. See, chocolate for me is a bit meh, but as soon as I start talking about jelly and like sour lollies, mm, you have my heart. I actually am so in love with, so in love with that. You know what? It's gonna be second to the top. That's how much I love this bar at the moment. I'm so glad that I did this because now I know that I love that chocolate. We are going on to the snack chocolate. Was definitely a part of my family home growing up, and we all have our had our like favorite piece of chocolate. Mine is the pineapple one. Love. That's just caramello. It's that creamy white, you know what they put in their cream eggs? It's that. <laughs> and I'm gonna try all the flavors. It's Turkish Delight. There we go. Bikini bottom. We have a pineapple. These are my favorite. Okay, guys, guys, I'm so excited. For a minute there, I was like, did they take the pineapple out? That was my favorite. And it's yellow. Mm, my childhood summed up. To me, buying that whole bar is worth just getting the pineapple piece. I'm literally a chocolate monster. I unfortunately didn't really like all of the other weird flavors except for the pineapple one. I think it's going to have to sit just in front of Hot Deck. Now we have our full lineup of the Cadbury Milk Chocolate Bars. At the very top, we do have all of our caramel plus that black forest that I'm very surprised that I like. And at the very bottom of the ranking system, we have have Dairy Milk's Neapolitan ice cream. It tastes like ice cream, to be fair, but if you're gonna have ice cream, just have a tub of ice cream. Thank you guys so much for watching. There is a lot of chocolate here, and I hope we gave you some insight or maybe some chocolate ideas that you might wanna pick up when you're at the shop steps. If you did like the video, remember to click that subscribe button and like for me. Leave a comment for any other videos you would like to see on this channel. My next task, I don't know what to do with all this chocolate. I gotta find new homes for this chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate. So while I do that, you like and subscribe and have a good week. I'll see you next time.